Hey, John here at the Grape and Granary. Today we're going to do a little video on the use of a Ferrari Gilda Type 3 lever corker. This is actually a fairly handy corker to use. Its biggest advantage is that it doesn't tend to make a great indentation in the top of your cork. In other words, it squeezes the cork rather than compressing it through a taper chamber. So it tends to do a neater job of putting the cork in the bottle. The downside is it takes a little bit more finesse in order <clears throat> to um, put the cork into the bottle because you need a little more balance to do so. So let's give you a quick demonstration on how this works and then we'll kind of do a little close up and you can see the way that the iris actually compresses the cork nice and neatly. All right, we're going to take a cork and I prefer to use the microparticle cork. This is a, a cork that we sell that has some nice elastic properties to it so it's not real hard. It, will go into a wine bottle fairly easily and they last for a long time and they're not very expensive. So again, microparticle cork really is the way to go, especially with this particular corker. What we're going to do is we're going to flip the corker upside down and you can see there we've got an iris that opens and closes, kind of like an eyeball. As you open and close the levers, the iris opens and closes. And we're going to go ahead and drop our cork into the iris, like so. We'll take our bottle that's ready to be corked. We're going to close the iris just a little bit to hold the cork in place. And then we're going to place the corker over top of the bottle and we're going to squeeze the handles together all the way. That'll compress the cork. And then we just use our handle to push down and that forces the cork into the bottle. Then we can lift up the handle and remove the cork or corker. And you can see it's done a very nice job of very smoothly putting the cork into the bottle with no indentation on the top of the cork. So there's no mangling or deforming of the cork like you get with some other types of corkers, especially hand corkers. All right, I'm going to show you exactly how this corker works. So again, we're going to open the jaws all the way. We're going to drop in our microparticle cork. Then we're going to close it just enough to hold the cork in place. And then, of course, we would flip this over to place it on our bottle. But instead, I'm just going to show you what happens when we squeeze the handles together. You can see what it does to the cork. It compresses the cork into a nice, small diameter. Now it's all loaded, and we're ready to go ahead and flip this upside down. And then we can go ahead and put it into our bottle. And by putting, pulling the handle down, We'll force the cork right through and into our bottle. We'll go ahead and release that. So again, you can see, see how the cork expands? And as we pull the handles together, it really constricts the cork, makes it much smaller in diameter, and then the handle just forces it down into the bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and enter one more cork into the bottle again, just so you can see the procedure as far as the balance. I, mean, I would say the biggest disadvantage to this corker is you've got to balance the corker on top of the cork or on top of the bottle. So I'll, I'll show you again just how I do that. I'm going to throw the cork down into the jaws again, crimp it with the iris with the handles, crimp it all the way tight, turn the corker upside down, place it on top of the bottle, and then what I like to do is kind of balance the corker against my stomach and then you can just go ahead and push the handle down and again it goes in nice and, and neat. And we can go ahead and remove it. And again, you can see we have a nice the entered cork in our bottle. It's pretty flush with the top of the bottle. No mangling or deforming of the cork. And that's pretty much it. Again, this is the Ferrari Gilda Three Lever Corker. Okay, this is John, Grape and Granary. If you have any problems or questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're always here. You can catch us on the web at www.thegrape.net. Thanks for watching.